Hey guys, Vic here and today we're back for another video and today I'm doing a review on Mind Blower at Fun Spot America in Kissimmee, Florida. This is a gravity group Woody that opened two years ago, Jan no, June 23rd, 2017. And guys, this is a good wooden coaster, I say. Uh, I am going to explain why, like, it's not great, but it's still a good wooden coaster. Probably my number number two favorite wooden coaster. But, yeah, let's get into the stats before we get into the review. This isn't that going to be that big. It's already night, so I should be sleeping, but whatever. So, Mind Blower has a height of 83 feet, a top speed of 48.5 miles, a drop of 80 feet, and has one inversion, which is a 360 degree barrel roll over the station. So, yeah. Probably the barrel, barrel roll is going to be like most people's favorite element of Mind Blower. And I'm pretty sure that is my favorite element on Mind Blower. So as you can see, yep. And what I like about Mind Blower is how it just hauls through the whole course. Like, it just goes so fast. Like, it never loses momentum. Maybe, like, a bit of momentum. But still, it is just so, like, crazy. Oh, yeah, before I get to the POV, note how this is not my footage. Credit goes to Coaster Central Productions for this uh, POV. I did not make this. This is from someone else. I am gonna like post the, like in the description. Like, oh yeah, credit goes to YouTuber. Usually I do this in videos because like just so I don't get copyrighted. Like, oh yeah, I s just steal the video. No, I give credit to them. To know it's not mine, but yeah, oops. Yeah, let's just get into the POV. So, so as soon as you depart, uh, you make a left hand turn, you dip a bit, and you start going up the the lift hill. And this is my first roller coaster by Gravity Group. And uh, yeah. This is like the closest gravity group to me. And what's surprising, they made Voyage at Holiday World, which is probably like a thousand times better than this, but I have not ridden it, so I don't know. So you get, you crest the left hill, you make a sharp left hand turn into the 65 degree drop. If you're in the back, you get flung. It is a great drop. Alright, so as soon as you crest the lift hill and then you go down the drop into the 360 degree barrel roll where your on right photo is taken. This is probably my favorite moment because it's just so smooth and so fun. Then you go into this wide turn, which is pretty rough. Say, yeah, this right is actually kind of rough on some parts of it because you either do it to the, um, Tennessee or due to the stress the train puts on the track. Um, yeah, so you make this turn. You then go into a double down, into a bunny hill, into a 90 degree bank turn. Let's see that again. So you a 90 degree bank turn into another airtime hill. Got like these uh, twisty like S bend sections. You go into 150. No, 115 degree bank turn. And then you go into like a bit of a twisted airtime hill. You do lose a bit of momentum. You go into another airtime hill. And then you so like another tight left hand turn into a, another airtime hill and then into the brake run. Overall, to be honest, it's a good ride. Say probably like one of my favorite wooden coasters, even though I haven't ridden a whole lot. Now, I do say that, yeah, this ride's actually kind of, like, rough. I wouldn't say it's, like, rough. Oh, yeah, like, it makes the ride uncomfortable. Like, it just feels a bit rattly. Like, on some parts, it can get aggressive. 
because the roughness. Now it's both good and bad. It's good because it makes the rage like way more intense. It's like it just blows you away. No pun intended. But at the same time, it just makes the ride like a bit uncomfortable and unbearable. And yes, this isn't gonna be like my favorite coaster in um, like my favorite wooden coaster in Florida. White Lightning is probably my favorite, and that's also an uh, Orlando fun spot, like the other one, right next to Universal. But, uh, yeah. To be honest, I think, like, there should be a way, like, to, like, take away the roughness of the ride, like, without, like, retracting it, like, I don't know, I'm not an engineer. Also, like, it's a bit hard to see this coaster from, like, different areas, like, only if you're, like, close to it, like, the fun spot. But it's... Because of, like, the trees, even, it's pretty hard to, like, see, like, where it is. Because it's not that tall. But, uh, yeah. So, for my Blur's final overall score, I'm going to give it an 8.5. The only way to, like, improve this ride is, like, obviously make it less rougher. And, like, I don't know. I mean, like, that's about... The only thing I have, like, a problem with this ride. The rest is actually really good. It's a fun ride. I would recommend, like, not riding it more than, like, three times because of the roughness it, like, causes. As you guys might get, like, headaches. Because it's just so crazy. Like, just go, like, twice, do something else, then go back two more times, go do something else, and then two more times, and then just do something else, and then probably leave. But, yeah, that is my review on Mind Blower at Fun Spot American Kissimmee. Post your thoughts down below on this Coaster by Gravity Group. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you... Hit the like button, hit the notification bell to so you know if I buy a new video. Subscribe to Theme Park Chasers and stay tuned for more videos coming in on Theme Park Chasers.